you're right there, Mark here. I'm going to show you today how I go from this very dirty used spirits from cleaning resin 3D prints to to this very clean spirit that you can use in your future prints with next to no effort, so easy, come along for the ride. Alright then, so you maybe go, Mark, what, what do you mean? Like, how do you go from this to this with next to no effort? Uh, a caveat, I know some of you that may be watching this video have seen tons of videos like this on YouTube already. One thing I'm going to say, you don't have to worry about putting this in UV sunlight or anything like that. I've tried that method in the past and... It works 50-50, it, it, it does the job, however, it doesn't come out, for my personal experience, as clear as this, look, this works for methylated spirits, isopropyl alcohol, any of your spirits you would use to clean your 3D prints, it comes out so clean, it's, it's phenomenal, okay, so I'm going to show you what you need, and go from there. Two seconds. Okay, four items, technically five, all right? So you want to get yourself some sealable buckets. You want some good sealable buckets. You then want to grab yourself one of these carbon water filters. All the items, I will put them in the link in the description, okay? So if you want to get the exact same ones, you can. Grab yourself some form of drill, okay? This will make it so much easier. Some form of cordless drill, corded, whatever, hand drill, okay? Just grab yourself a drill. And if you have already got these, these are an absolute godsend. Uh, stepped drill bits, because this will help you sort in later on the assembly. So, once you've got these items, all you have to do it is so, so simple. I love the step drills because it makes it easier that it steps through. All you're going to do is grab your filter. Okay. Take it out of the box. You're going to match up this threaded part here to the size that you want it to be. And this set, if you get this exact same set, it's the smallest one, 12 mil, will be perfect. It'll be very, very snug, but it'll be perfect. Okay, you have that ready. Now with these buckets here, all you're gonna have to do is, you can see there's a little, little center point there, which is already in place because it's part of the molding process. You drill slap bang through the center of one lid, okay? One lid, and one bucket at the bottom, okay? Just one and one. That's all you got to do. And then, what you'll do, let me put this back so I don't lose it. <laughs> keep your tools tidy, is you'll then put this threaded hole through the bucket, okay? Make sure the rubber washer, the gusset, whatever you want to call it, is on this side, because this is where you're going to pour your liquid in, okay? You then, at the same time, let's place up there, you make sure you put your lid okay on there and you screw it on tight i'll show you one made in a moment so you don't have to worry and you screw it up nice and tight nice and tight but not too tight that you snap it okay when you're doing it you'll it'll click okay so let's put these to one side and i'll show you in a minute one that, that's all been built this is the setup i do apologize i can't get it much better on the view at this moment in time but this is the setup so you've got your loose lid Okay, you've got your 
screwed on, nutted on, lid on the bottom. That's connecting the filter. So, filter, if I tip it, it's in there. That's it. You just pour in your spirit in there. Let's put the lid back on because it does smell. <laughs> you just pour it in and it will just drip through slowly, but it will drip through. Clean spirit, as you can see there. Now, there's only two things you've got to be aware of when you're using this method here. Make sure you wear gloves for this first statement. Is with the um, the resin that's suspended in the spirit, it will stick to the filter over time. So what you want to do is use your gloved hand to wipe it off. It will still filter through, but it will slow up the process because obviously the resin is blocking it. Secondly, it is a slow process. However, I have filtered two and a bit liters worth of resin in about two to three days. The nice thing about this is you just pour it in and you leave it. You don't need to worry about it being in the sunlight that you let it settle and then you pour it through filters and all this and all that because that's what I was doing. I was doing it, but it genuinely felt like I was wasting um, spirits through that, which there is some form of waste. There's going to be some form of waste through both methods. The only other caveat which would then have for any filtration setup is there is a tipping point in how much uh, you can use your dirty spirits before you can then actually filter them. Okay, now if you see here, here's some very dirty IPA. Let me slide that to one side. This is beyond the tipping point. This is beyond filtration point. I genuinely don't think this would actually filter anymore. So what you do want to do, you'll learn this as you're doing it, is maybe after doing uh, maybe three, four prints, depending on how big your prints are, you then have a rotation of these spirits that you then have them in your wash stations, whatever you're using, tubs, wash and cure, whatever you're using, you would then rotate them, okay? Don't let them get saturated in the resin because it will just won't filter, okay? Um, my plan is I'm going to get another 5 litre of methylated spirit. So then I've got obviously the spare filter that I'm going to have two of these going at a time. They are 2.5 litre um, tubs. So in theory I'll be having 2 litres filtering at the same time while... Uh, four to five liters is being used at any one time and it just makes it very efficient if you are just printing every once in a while having one setup where you're filtering two liters at a time while you're using two maybe three liters it's more than more than suffices because unless you're a business this is scalable that's the great thing about it. You can have bigger tubs. You can have bigger sealable buckets with multiples of these filters in there. So if you are a hobbyist and you're not printed out in you know a stupid amount of models and stuff like that, just staying with one of these is absolutely fine. If you're one that's printed out for mates as well as yourself, maybe having two of these setups and so on and so forth. This is scalable. This is what I'm loving about it. I'm not having to leave nasty chemicals outside in the sun that I can get knocked over or blah, blah, blah. I'm not having to pour it and get it over my hands, working with coffee filters and strainers and all this and all that. I'm pouring it in. And you may be able to hear it drip. It is a slow process. I'm not going to deny it. But it works. Um, the filters are rated for about 100,000 litres. 
I don't know if it will get to 100,000 litres because you are filtering different than just pure water. But if you routine clean them, as I said, we're putting a glove on and scrubbing them, they do clean better when they're suspended in spirits. If you take them out, it, it dries too quickly and you can't get the resin off. But that's it. That is the video and that's how good it is. You just get your spirits back to this really clean state. I'm really, really happy with this method. And as I said, it's really easy to store to one side. It just works. It just works. But thank you so very, very much for watching through. If this does help you, or if you used something like this before, comment and like the video, comment down below. As I said, all supplies for this will be in the description through Amazon. So if you want to get the exact same stuff, you can do. But yes, as always, take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Ta-ra for now.